overload. Destroy each land that can produce colorless. Make a construct, yes. Moment before disaster. Hey, welcome to a new donation deck video. The name gonna play Blue Black Merktide that comes to us from Triple A. So usually this Blue Black Merktide lists play the one ring and a bunch of pitch spells. But we're going no ring, we're playing Seron's Ransom and three Archmage's Charm for the current advantage. Of course we have our Bowmasters, the counter spells, the pushes, two snappies, some Shadow's Edict, some Drowns, and of course Merktide Regent. So in the sideboard we have some more counter magic, we have some annuls for the beanstalk and ring decks, uh, some stern scoldings, and a bunch of artifacts and explosives, chalice against rhinos, against hammer, some break the ice for Tron, and some graveyard hate and stone of erich, which, which also is really good against yagmoth and decks like scales. So that's gonna be the donation deck for the day. So if you wanna donate a deck for me to play, you can just click the link in the description, put in 15 euros, leave the link to your deck list in the message and maybe tell me something about the deck and also leave like a link to your social media so i can contact you when i play your deck i hope you enjoyed this video and let's get to the games okay that looks like a nice little hand flooded strand kind of spell okay let's just go for island preordain okay i don't need the word we crave I might need the Shilwitz Edict if they go... Yeah, I'll leave that on top. If they go like Ren and 6 next turn, I would like to be able to kill that. So I don't think this deck can beat Ren and 6 without Shilwitz Edict. Temple Garden tapped. Misty. Okay, nothing. Good, good, good. Let's keep up counter spell. Okay, my opponent's seen five days ago playing Rhinos. Maybe this is a Rhinos deck? In which case I don't really want to tap out of counter spell. Yeah, looks like we're going for an upkeep outburst. Yeah. Let's try a counter spell. See if they have the force backup. No, they don't. Scalding turn, go. You might need to two for one the rhinos. <laughs> yeah, shardless. Mm. What do we crave? Shark. Push. Pussy B. Okay, that's good. Let's play the Otavara. Let's just bounce it. Pass. Then we can bow master the shardless agent. Gemstone. Bowie. No dead gun, no fire eyes. Okay. Mm, nothing. Wow, Merktide. Okay. Let's go. Island cycling. Let's get another island. Play a little Merktide. Ah, uh, they could have. They probably have Leyland Binding. I think I'll wait until I have a counter spell backup. If they're not doing anything, it's pretty likely they're gonna have a binding. Let's just play a poison borrow end of turn. Okay, they do have the binding and they use it on a bowmaster, so perfect. I guess they have maybe Lauren revealed. No, they drew another shardless. Uh, okay. Let's push one. And then play my poison borrower. Snappy. Okay, Snappy is good. Attack. Okay, so, so I think I still wait and I just snap, push. And block the Shardless as well. Okay, we managed to get through three crashing footfalls. Fury. Oh, long revealed. Okay. I'd like to hit a counter spell or something. I'm gonna play my Mark to this turn, I guess. Another push. Mm, let's not make it that big. I think I still wanna keep a pre in my graveyard in case I draw. Uh, in case I draw another snappy. Planes, and I guess he has a Leyland Binding. Sure. So do you bring a null in this matchup? <laughs> Just for the Leyland Bindings. Probably not. Big old Fury. Not a, oh my god, not alone revealed. Back up to seven cards in hand. How is the Rhino player outdrawing my deck? Triple A. How is he outdrawing me? Kind of spell, okay. I mean, I didn't draw any Sauron's Ransom or Archmage's Charm. <laughs> Legendary Wood Gemstone Caverns. What are you doing? What is the plan? Subtlety. Interesting. Let's go for Edict. 
consider. Okay, let's consider. Charm, yes, yes, yes. Attack, maybe as another subtlety. I'm probably gonna count the spell. Put him to one. Usually we're the ones who cast top deck revealed. I mean, I guess he's playing four, I'm playing... Uh, nice. We're only playing two. Uh, kind of amazing we want that. Okay, spell pierce in... Do we want dispute? What is that? Stun scolding. No, we don't want that. For the negation, we probably want chalice and explosives. I'm not a big fan of the bone masters. Probably just gonna cut them, right? It's only good against long revealed, but hey. Um, let's cut maybe a edict then the push. We're just trying to counter everything they play. I think that's gonna be the play, right? Do you like edict more than push? I don't know. Well, we have counter spells. We only have one land. On the draw with pure Dane. I think I can do better. I pl we played Chalice in the deck. Okay, yeah, let's keep that. Cut a push. Okay, land, pure Dane. Cut all pushes and add disputes. Uh, do I want those? I mean, I don't mind the sounds ransom. I think I just want to draw more Chalices and more counter spells. Go. Okay, island go. Tap my land. Hmm, annoying. Okay, I didn't have it. Consider. Pass. Hmm. Flame of Anna, draw two. Okay. Okay, I think I'm also just gonna draw two. If you resolve the violent outburst, sure. Hmm, spell pierce, very nice. We have answers for that, so that's okay. Hall. Let's go shark. Mm, push. And bounce one. Go. We still have spell pierce. I mean, if you place a land and then place a cascade spell, it's gonna suck. There's the land, and there's the cascade spell. Okay, let's consider. Maybe I find a force of negation. Spell Pierce Graveyard. Okay. Mm-hmm. Preordain. We still have explosives in the deck. Bottom, bottom. Consider. Edict. Nah. No, I really wanna dig towards explosives. But uh, not trying anything. I guess I have to drown here. Maybe as a dispute and then I can spell pierce it. But we flooded quite hard. Four. I can't spell piss that. Okay. I mean, if I do it in the upkeep, they just hard cast for us. So, they have a million mana. I think it's better than pitching a card than untapping. But we flooded anyway. Oh, you mean before for damage would not be a problem? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not an experienced control player. I have to say. Okay, so we cut push. What is that? Okay. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, keep. Shock, Preordain. Marked no, Island no. Chalice, yes, but I'm gonna wait for next turn when I have counter spell back up. Go. Temple Garden untapped. And Logan revealed. Sure. Spell Pierce. Nice. Go. Edict. Not great. Go. Would like to draw some uh, card draw spells. Just fill my graveyard for Marktide. Because we might eventually draw out of it. Yeah, Edict. Not great. Go. Um, spell pierce. Force. Mm, Tron. Dispute. Okay, looks like he won the fight. Yeah. There's the footfalls. Can I spell? Okay. I think I'm gonna kill one of them. And keep up counter spell. Take six. 
And if they don't do anything, I try to edict the other one and then play Merktet with a counter spell backup. If in this small little slot he fits in a violent outburst, yeah, sure. Okay. E E. Okay. Let's start off with the Marktite. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, don't think I wanna play my E now. Binding. No. Kind of spell. God damn it. <sighs> I tried. Okay, let's not die to a shardless agent. Okay, that's good. Let's just main phase it. Good, good, good. Let's just get an island. Go. All right, all right. Let's pass. So I'm gonna do in combat, snap, target, charm, pluck, and then end of turn, draw two cards. And plea. Okay. Don't think I wanna counter that since I have the explosives. I yeah, still think I just wanna snap draw two. That's a good draw by them. <laughs> I could steal one, but I really wanna explosive them. I don't know if this is the right play. Binding my snappy. Okay. Okay. Consider. So I can... You see your cards in hand, let's do it right now. Cast this. Crack it. Then I could go... I think the safest line is just kill the Shardless Agent and keep up counter spell. Go. Here's your cards in hand, so let's do it like this. Okay, then I go consider into Merc Tide, but I keep up counter spell here. Okay, good, good, good. Consider. Spell Pierce, Graveyard. Another Spell Pierce. Okay, so I can Merc Tide and go. Next turn I have Counterspell plus Snap Counterspell. Dispute, nice. <laughs> I can spell this Lauren Revealed. I'm not worried about the Lauren Revealed. Okay, I think we got there. With the slight feeling we got there. Bounce. Um, no, let's counter spell. Okay. Whew! Always feels good beating rhinos. I rarely beat rhinos. Mmm, sure. Keep. Mistrail planes. That might mean that's the bring to light deck that plays Mistrail planes in the Venom 6 deck. Okay, we have the beans. Okay, that's really problematic. Misty, go. Okay, fetch for three and the one and six. Forest. If it's another beanstalk. Okay. I think we're in the beanstalk game. I let it resolve and I start to bowmaster them. I can play that game. Those decks usually are too greedy and don't play lightning bolts or fire eyes or anything. They just play binding, ending, and solitude, which they're gonna take a whole bunch of damage. And if they finally start playing Fire Eyes, then good. You finally made your deck more playable. The people who don't play Fire Eyes, I mean, they copy list with Mistful Planes and just net deck. Ending. Uh, no. So most, most of those people just net deck the, the random bring to light decks. And yeah, I don't know. Go. They concede. Okay. So this matchup I would like to have Shildred in the sideboard. But okay, I guess Anol is here for that matchup, right? So you count the Leyland Binding, you count the Beanstalk, you count the Ring. Spell Pierce I like, Force of Negation I like, Dispute I like. Push I don't like at all. Mm, we already have Shilvitz Edict to kill Omnath, I think the rest looks fine. Prison Borrower, you don't really wanna bounce anything they play. I think I'm gonna cut the, the Borrower. Let's try it like this. Um, sure, keep. 
Yeah, I think Shield within the sideboard would be a nice addition. Okay, Blue the Delta, go. Let's keep up and all if they play the beans. If they play Ren, it's gonna be a big problem. Okay, they don't have it. Okay, I'm gonna pass. I think it's really important against this kind of four color decks to bluff your counter spells. Just don't want to tap out for a preordain and then they just snap Teferi off. If they play Teferi, we can Bowmaster. Then they can just plus and that's fine, I guess. But yeah, there's the Teferi now. Let's play a Bowie. Let's see. I assume they plus. At least that's what I would do. Oh, they just forget. Okay. I'll take it. Attack Teferino. And... Yeah, let's just double Preordain. I could have summoned Ransom, but... Then I would have to discard to hand size. Oh, wow, land... Four lands. Four lands, huh? Oh my god. Bottom everything. <laughs> okay. Plus... What do we crave? Shark. And a ring. Okay, but they can't really draw cards. Never mind, they draw cards. Uh, kill Teferino. And pass with a bunch of counter spells up. And they can keep drawing cards if they want. I do have a Bowmaster in play. Binding. Anul. How is it to be on the other side? Uh, right now it feels good, but I just don't like those Omnathless control versions with Bring to Light. I never played them and I have no interest in playing those Bring to Light versions. I think they're skimping way too much on the removals. Like I said, they play Leyland Binding Solitude and maybe 1-2 endings. And you just die to Bowmaster. Ren and 6, no. I like my Bowmaster where it is. Spell Pierce, not bad. Um, let's just play a small Merc Tide. Keep up Spell Pierce. So they can't just play another ring. Keep Verdict in mind. Um, yeah, but they only play one Verdict. I mean, they can bring to light into Verdict and I spell Pierce they bring to light. I'm not gonna play around a one-off. Also, they're playing like a 70 card deck. Yeah, there you go, bring to light. And I'm gonna show them why I don't play bring to light. Because you play a 5 mana card that gets countered by a spell Pierce. GG. Easy. And that's the reason why I added Veil of Summer to my 4 color deck, because I had the experience that the uh, heavy counter spell decks are a pretty bad matchup actually. Like I got really wrecked by blue black control in my local game store. And then I added to Veil of Summer, and I never cut them since. So some might look at my list and think, okay, the two Veil of Summer side, but are probably because of scam. But no, actually because of the counter spell decks. And no, I'll mull that. Okay, keep bottom a land. Okay, what we crave? Max Amber Bauble, Emry. Mill, Erza, Rona. Okay, so it's a pretty all in combo deck, at least seems like. Bauble, me. Fat Shock, Push. Mm. Has Ransom been good so far? I've not drawn it, like I have a lot of matchup where it would have been great if I drew it, but... Oh god, called one. Saga? You can make everything into an Emry or a Rona or Ursa. Disgusting. Let's just hope he doesn't have another land and can't make Saga tokens. Which he didn't crack his bauble, so he probably has a land. Yeah. So I have to push the token so he can't put a counter on it. I guess I still want to play my Bowmaster. But yeah, this is looking pretty over. <sighs> Go. Okay, it just gets an Emry. Yeah, that's a big guy. I think this is just really hard main board. I hope we're gonna have a better matchup post board. Like blue black decks usually have a hard time against Saga in the main board. Give me a break. Yeah, you have an Elsa construct. 
That's pretty good. Fab the foundry. Yikes. I don't know what I can do to stop him from doing what he's doing. Uh, those de cards definitely don't help. Um, I don't really wanna sacrifice my bone masters. He can just make one once if he wants to. But I think this game is over. <laughs> a triple saga. I get a flashback from last time I streamed against Affinity. Yeah, that's what I said. We have good sideboard options, but main board is just really bad. I want. Okay, let's Aram's Ransom. Maybe into a Merc Tide, and. I don't know. You can make infinite Fob Dots. Uh, pretty inconsider. Don't really. They, those don't really help. Merc Tide Snapcaster. Okay. Land. Let's make it small. Okay, maybe if I don't die here, and he doesn't make trump lockers, probably probably no way. He might sack something to make a flyer. No, just makes a rona. More constructs. Okay, if I somehow get two instant sorceries in my deck, ah, oh, a spell bomb. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop it up. No need. All right, explosives in. Uh, dispute in, a uh, null in. Uh, we don't have Tress Downs. Uh, Stern Scolding, Countess Emery, and Ursa. Do we think that's worth it? Probably. Break the Ice for Saga? I think that's a bit overkill. Maybe bring in one. Buff Negation might be okay. Bowmaster didn't seem impressive here. I kind of do like spell piece against the cold one and stuff. I really need to count the cold one. Mm, they're gonna have relics and graveyard tate. Maybe I should just maybe one drown and let's cut. Maybe just to consider. What do we grave preordain? Uh, sure. Land bottom and old top. Drum is fine. Another push. Mm, let's just keep up counter spell. Sword of the Meek. Uh, that one can resolve. Charm. Okay. Let's just pass. Delete the Delta. Tuan isn't played that much. I think Tuan is played a lot. I, I almost always face Tuan. <laughs> okay, Amber is fine. We have multiple Fatal Push. Max Amber. Okay, in response, I'm gonna push. Let's go Island. Fatal Push. Mm hmm. No. Hell no. Okay, shot. I guess let's preordain. Uh, land bottom, charm top. Go. I think we have everything under control. Uh, and snaring bridge. Uh, let's kind of spell that. Okay, more kind of spells are good. Land. Pass. Okay, good. Let's draw two. Merktide Twown. Okay, let's slam a Merktide. Counter spell push. 8-8. Eight, eight. Mm. Uh, no. Swing fight. Classic counter everything your opponent plays and slam a 8-8 eight, eight Merktide and hope that's good enough. Hmm, attack. Okay, if they play Ensnaring Bridge, maybe we should. Ah, oh, we still have a lot of answers. It's fine. Um, on the draw, maybe I need the Spell Pierce, because I need to counter their thing on turn 2. And maybe even the Force of Negation. Hmm, no, let's just... I don't even know if I really need the Shieldwitz Edict. Let's cut one Shieldwitz Edict and maybe try it like this. Which of those decks would be the best for an RCQ? Tron, Kofa, Scoria, Truxa. Uh, three decks I don't play, so you're probably asking the wrong person. <laughs> Maybe you should so ask someone else, because all I can say is play four color. <laughs> uh, do we have to turn one Emery? Oh god. Hmm. Fatal push from the top? Oh god. Is it's gonna cast a cold one from the graveyard? 
Uh, let's find an answer for that. Emily, huh? Okay, that's my push. Uh, I guess I like both of them. Put on top, put on top. Okay, so I'm gonna force the called one. And then next turn we push the Emry, hope he doesn't have a good follow-up. Or maybe he doesn't have a land. That would be nice. Okay, he has a land. Tapped! Okay, it just goes for the bubble. Interesting. I would thought he snaps off this called one. Maybe as a spell pierce of his own? Mm. But I still think I have to kill it here. I don't really want to give him another... He did have spell pierce. Yeah, damn it. Hmm, don't think I'd beat an Emry if it was an extra card every single turn. Turn one Emry. Saga, Jesus Christ. Fuck the Foundry. It's looking bad. Looking very, very bad. Hmm. Now I kind of regret botting out the Bowmasters. Tavara. <laughs> Just goes for the baubles. So many cards. Draw two. Hmm. Okay. Start with a Preordain. Magtide, I think, is the main way how I can possibly win this game. Probably not, but it's bottom of the land, top the mark tight. Play Motavara, kill that guy. Keep up stun scolding. Okay, go. Do I think Chan Saga can still be good? If so, would I make any changes to my previous list? I don't have many changes to my previous list, no. Okay, so he has a full grip of cards. Let's see if he gets the the blue spell bomb, Eva spell bomb. If just a spring leaf drum, not a saga. God damn it! Was my spreading Caesar my explosive? Called one. Yeah. Emry. No. Do we not cycle revealed? Uh, yes, but why would we cycle it now? Oh, do we not cycle revealed to get some card draw? I think it's too late for that. I guess. Let's see. We're just gonna play the Merc and keep up counter spell. Okay, that's card draw. I think Merc is the only real way how we get out of this. Go. Fuck the foundry. I think I have to counter that. That makes infinite trump locker. Oh, we can cast it again. With Emery. Ah, Son of the Meek. Okay, we lost. We need to try explosives for two right now. Snap. Yeah, we die. He makes infinite 1-1 one, one flyers. Okay. I'm gonna take the Merc Tides. Interesting. Sadly, those Merc Tides don't have Trample. Wait, they can't be blocked, right? They can't be... If it's a Wing Parry, can't be blocked by small creatures. We're probably st still dead. Uh, actually, it probably just attacks us and we die. If he gets a Spell Bomb. But if he doesn't have a Spell Bomb... And he lets us jump. He does have the Spell Bomb. Okay, I'll take 16, I die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His draw was just too good. On the play, turn one Emery, turn two Spell Pierce back up. Multiple Sagas. I don't think there was much I could have done. Other than not playing the push into the Spell Pierce, but giving him just more turns with his Emery. Uh, no lands. Mulligan. Okay, keep. Let's just bot um, the consider. There is our Tron deck. Lovely. Always nice to be on the draw. Because if I was on the play, I could turn two counter spell is crying. But 
here it's looking not good. Maybe we're able to counter every threat they play. Tower, Valak. Okay, interesting. Go. Hmm. Do we have the naturals? No, Saga. Interesting. Okay. Lauren revealed. Go. Pawn is playing very passionate with his fear. Doesn't wanna crack it. Doesn't wanna find Tron. Not a mine. Just a pass. Very passive Tron player over here. Yeah, I think Trust Towns to be very good. Also against like Sanctify and Wreck kind of creatures. I'm gonna take the pile that has counter magic. Or card draw. Push Bowmaster. Bottom pile is probably better. Yeah. I like that pile a lot more. Go. Problem is now he's gonna get Expedition Map. And he's gonna get Tron. Okay, makes another construct. <laughs> map. Uh, fetch for one. So I'm a fetch land. Hmm. More sagas. Okay, let's take five. And probably just gonna Sauron's Ransom again. Do once he cracks his map, I can snap push a token maybe. Uh, bottom pile is probably better. Oh, must the land. Never mind. Mm, let's still get a land. Now would be a good time to draw a tight. All right. Go. Your constructs got outclassed. Tron assembled. Everything is fine except Ulamark. Mismatched. It's an Ulamark. I hate you. Okay. Uh, snap push. Hmm. Go. More constructs. I'm just gonna lose against the constructs. <laughs> that one things are fine, but I mean, Olamark was not fine. But whatever they do, I'm already losing to the constructs. Another map. Begin combat. Uh, sacrifice a non token creature. Mm hmm. Uh, I guess I have to make him sack that one as well. I'm gonna lose to those. And if he has something too good, I just have to force it. If it's a worm call, sure, I lose. Actually, you can't just sacrifice this thing. I was not considering that. I guess I go to one. Khan. Uh, no. Oh, stone. Pretty. Crack Relic. I don't think I can Bowmaster in response. It doesn't accomplish that much. Okay. Go. Khan. No! Enel, Force, Break the Ice, probably Spell Pierce, yeah, let's cut Fatal Push, and two more cards, guess I need the Edict for the Planeswalkers, I guess I cut a Bowmaster, maybe a second Bowmaster, I mean Bowmaster is some amount of pressure, they do draw some cards, but I guess Down is also not sick. Let's try it like this. Those are the extra file. Special file Lorians. Okay, we have break the ice. So only have one land. And we have a pre -adain. Let's just hope we don't fizzle here. Can I find my second land? That's gonna be the question. 
Okay, that's the second land. I guess I also want another preordain. Sure. Go. Power plant map. Mm, your power plant is not welcome. Mm, tower. Okay, island go. That's the second power plant. Of course, of course. Just one things. Let's see if I can find a snapcaster. Probably always gonna take the hidden pile. I think you should actually, when you play Sauron's Ransom, you should put the bad cards always in the bottom pile. At least I'm gonna take the bottom pile 90% of the time. Force land. Hmm. Yeah, I'm always gonna take the bottom pile. Spell PS Poison Bar Roar. Well, um, let's just preordain. Maybe I find my other Break the Ice. My bottom, consider, I guess. Go. Gets a forest. Okay, already has the naturals. Wouldn't beat one if they didn't have the naturals. Walking ballista. Cute. Sure. Let's consider. Land, no. Uh, sacrifice an untoken creature, please. Mm, let's draw a snapcast off the top. Or maybe overload, break the ice? No. <laughs> overload, break the ice would be the best. Well, like. Okay. Sure, you can have an island. If he cracks it, I'm gonna bowmaster. Forest, six mana. I can't beat the bomb coil. Mm, I need to get something going. Okay, sex both his things in response. Yeah. Hmm. Ay ay ay. Doesn't look good. You can turn to a stone ranged one. Nothing really matters when you don't have a clock. Okay, it's crying. Tower. That's fine. Yeah, that's not fine, but I have to let it resolve. Got Sakan liberated. Okay, I can spell pierce. Finally found a target for my spell pierce, maybe? The one way. Oh god. I mean, I do have Bowmaster. Uh, bounce, I guess. Map. Sure. I don't think my spell pierce are gonna, is gonna have any better targets. Bounce. Yeah, I don't know. It buys me another turn, then they don't draw a card. Maybe I find a counter spell. They don't draw a card this way. But I am just drawing land after land, so. Go. Uh, saga. The one wing. Draw a card. Perfectly playing around my spell pierce. Plus. Okay, you can have my spell pierce. Oh, look. Sure. Sure. I think it's time to fin the deck. Oh, I actually only have one land left. Okay. Ah, oh, good card. <laughs> break the ice. Oh, I'm gonna take break the ice. Put a counter on my breezy B, I guess. I take all that calm. So I'm gonna overload that next turn. Discard the spell pierce. I still, I think, should kill the Khan, or I'll stay kill my bowmaster. The next turn I kill all the lands. Go. Oh, I didn't play Childred. I did. But they have protection, I can't attack them, so might as well attack Khan. So why you, what else should I do? Attack not? Don't attack at all? Another map. Okay, draw more cards. Play more lands, please. Maybe opponent doesn't know the break the ice as an overload cost. <laughs> That's worth a screenshot. Mm -hmm. Cast with overload. Destroy each land that can produce colorless. Draw two cards. Yes, yes. As long as he doesn't have warping rail. Make a construct. Yes. Moments before disaster. Nice. Okay, let's just discard the Mark Titan. Jump. Nice, nice, nice. Go. Can't believe we win this game. 
<laughs> Robbing Mill would have been funny, yeah. All right, all right. We got him in the end. Bow uh, Bowmaster did a good job here. I probably should bring it back. Maybe cut Tron. They're playing well against stuff. No break the ice. I think it's a keeper. Power plant. Sphere. Preordain. Okay, let's preordain. Snappy ransom. I think I need some other stuff. Go. <laughs> yeah. We definitely broke the ice. Saga. And a scrying. No, a relic. And the map. Alright. Land go. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start bow mastering. Yeah, go. Hmm. Construct number one. And one is even more annoying with sagas. Let's get an island. Don't expect my opponent to piffing needle me. But you never know. You never know. Another map. So gets it one land and then gets another Tron land. Okay. Ransom. That also means my Bowmaster can't get blocked. I guess it gets blocked if he cracks his map, because it... What does the ring say? Nah, can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. Right. Preordain Edict versus two. I kinda like the surprise cards. Yes! Break the ice. That's exactly what I want. The question is, do I play it? Mm, or do I wait for overload? I think it's a bit too far away to overload. Let's just kill it one land. And then I mark tight. And I'm gonna tap out here. And let's see, this one can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. So let's attack. It's looking good. <laughs> Three mana, O stone. Sheesh. Another spell pierce. Start off with a consider. Charm. Sure, I'll take a charm. Attack, attack. Let's see if there's the right Tron land. Do we know about the tower? We don't know about the tower. But it's a Tron player. They always have the tower. Go. Yeah, of course. What else? Stirrings. Mm, I could spell pierce. Finds Ula Mark. Oh my god. Mm, okay, I'll block. Let's play Sauron's Ransom. The top pile has to be really good to not take the bottom pile for me. Like maybe Preordain Land? No, the bottom pile is probably better. Land Spell Pierce. Oh. Triple Spell Pierce? Not really where you wanna be after they have Tron. Okay, begin combat. Let's see if he gives me the Borrower Trigger. He does. Edict. Let's discard a Spell Pierce then. And he's gonna crack the world. Okay, land go. Let's hope he doesn't have a Tron land for his Ulamark. Yeah, he will time out soon. For mana, Khan. That's Tor 2. Is that greedy? Worst case, I go double spell pierce. I think I still go double spell pierce. Oh, he, he has four mana. People, why do you say I can double spell pierce? Coating. Saga. Okay. Guess I spell pierce coating. So, do I just attack them with the hall? I don't. I can't imagine that's gonna be the play. Oh, Bowmaster. Attack them with the hall down to three, and then I have Bowmaster. And then what do they search with Khan? Um, I think I'll just. Bowmaster Khan? Oh god! This is hard. Attack them down to a three. I still have Bowmaster in hand. If they resolve Ulamark, they excel my hall and have something else. I don't wanna pass. Like, I don't want him to be able to crack his sphere. I think I'll just Bowmaster main face the Khan and then pass. I don't know. I wanna save the Edict for the Ulamark or for their construct. Scrying. Okay, I'll counter spell Scrying, I guess. Really don't want him to get Ulamok mana. The one ring. No. Okay, what do they get? Do they get the bridge? Rock and blister. Okay. <laughs> Let me draw. Okay. Scrying. So I think we win. Okay, so you can blister for two. I guess I don't win. I'm gonna make them suck it. Now they die. We found a win. 
Nice. They needed to kill my orc army. But now we win. Yes! Oh my god, we beat Tuan. Tuan took a bunch of... Like, this was a misplay here from them, but... Oh, yes! Okay, can we finally break the curse of the free two donation decks? Mm, keep. <laughs> Another Tuan deck? Or is it scales? It scales! Ah, oh, patchwork. Son of a bitch. Um, yeah, they're gonna play the patchwork anyway, so let's just preordain. I want at least one more land. Go. Blink Moth. Interesting. Okay. Let's keep up counter spell. Next turn I can push. Another patchwork. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Okay, Island Go. I still want to keep up the spell pierce. So I'm probably just gonna end of turn push. Stirring is fine. Like, maybe they go called one. I have to count I called one. I mean, I actually don't need to, Sabas. Another patchwork. Okay, I guess we just push here then. All the patches in the world. Okay. I could 6-6 six, six Merc Tide, but I don't think I wanna tap out of Spell Pierce. 6-6 six, six Merc Tide is not big enough. Let's chill. Stirrings is fine. There's the cold one. Might not even need to. Oh, hang her back. Okay, I think I'm just gonna push, and then play the Merc Tide, keep up Crazy B and Spell Pierce. He doesn't have a Psych Outlet for his Hangerback Walker yet. If he finds a Psych Outlet, I'm gonna bounce it. Oh, I could just Bowmaster it. Yeah, sure. I don't really need to do that. Let's Merc Tide, keep up Spell Pierce for his Cold One and pass. Ravager. That's a problem. Okay, I think I bounced this one here now. Okay. We might have a problem here. Just some spell pierces. Mm. Okay, I think I wanna target the Ravager while I can. He's gonna sack the Sabas, but I think I wanna get the Sabas off the table. Yeah. That's fine, that's a 2 2 Ravager. 3 3 Ravager. You know, we have a problem. Ravager is a problem. Spell Pier is not great in this matchup. Now they go hanger back. Another uh, Sabas. Yeah, spell Pierce is pretty weak here. Mm, no blocks. Mm. Wow. Okay. Attack with Magda and Prezi B. That's a huge draw. He sacks his hanger back and then I push his Ravager. Or he just takes it. Go to free. Hmm. Okay. No. <laughs> Put a counter. Okay. So he sacks the Ravager. He sacks the hanger back to the Ravager. I attack with all. In response to the sack, I'm gonna push the Ravager. And he can't put the counters from the Ravager anywhere. So he gets three one ones and he can block. Block, block, and jump. Looks good. Go. Uh, three lands in play, nothing else. Two life. Alright, very, very good. Uh, we bring in a null. We bring in a stun scolding. Explosive. And Stone of Erich. I'll cut the spell pierce. The cold one is gonna be a problem. Maybe I need to keep the force in, but I don't really like the force here. I'm not a big fan of counter spell. Oh man, I need to cut a lot of cards. Let's cut some, consider maybe a ransom. Uh, what else can I cut? I don't really wanna cut too many threats. Magdal, I think, is very good. Let's just cut the force. I could cut Bowmasters probably, yeah. Okay, let's try. Growth, Scales. That's gonna make our Bowmasters a lot worse. Hang it back, no. Mm, go. Sure. Patchy. Okay. Uh, Bowmaster. Hmm, I think the race is on. With Merc Tide, definitely the race is on. Called one. 
I can't really let that one resolve. Mm. Sabas. Okay, I think I'm just gonna get rid of both their creatures here. Push. And then you sacrifice a non token creature. Attack. Two cards in hand. Walking Blister for two would be kind of brutal. Okay, we're back. Sure. Push. Mm. Yeah, I think I wanna push that and attack. Okay. Mm. If I Bowmaster now, then they don't have Pendle Haven up, but I also would like to cast my Merc Tide. But I also don't want to excel my push. I think while I can, I'll just kill their Fopter. I won't be able to do next turn with the Pendle Haven up. Let's just do it like this. Merc Tide now. I don't kind of feel it. Lister for two. And oh god, Ravitcher. Uh, Okay, I'll take one. Land. I think I should go for the Merc Tide now. I don't think keeping up Snap Push here does much. I guess I need to Snap Push Main Phase on the Ballista. I can't just play the Merc Tide. I could jump. Let's see what he does. But yeah, I, I guess. I need to do that. If I pass with Snap Push up, he won't go all in. Well, that's probably the worst thing he could have top decked. Now I'm dead. Like, that's a huge ballista. I think the line is shoot my bowmaster, then attack with all. Um, just main phase goes for. Okay, made them off, and that's enough. Eight. Yeah, okay, that's more than enough, yeah. Yeah, 13. Okay. Exactly. I don't mind my plan. It was an unfortunate top deck from them. <laughs> okay, we need to win this last game. We can't get another free two. I, I don't accept another free two. Maybe on the play, counter spell back, remove Bowmaster. Maybe consider back. Let's just remove the Bowmasters. They don't seem very impressive. Let's see. Sadly, can't. Oh man, double and null. But only one land. Okay, what do we bottom? I don't want to bottom the consider. I want that to find me the fat land. I don't want to bottom anything. It just feels false to bottom a fatal push. Ransom? I really think I want the card advantage. It's gonna be awkward, but I think I'm gonna bottom uh, the fatal push. I mean, that's the only card advantage I have currently. Go. Question is, do I kill a non-saga land? Okay, forward skills. Consider... I'm not sure that's a land. And it's a spell for Merktide. I guess it would ever be a spell for Merktide because I would have bottomed it, but... I'm gonna throw the land anyway. Alright, fine. Pass. Ink Moth. Mm, do I kill the Ink Moth? I think so. Charm. No. Let's do it. Go. Stirrings. Okay, Saga. Hmm. Slight regrets. More lands. Go. The fact they got the cold one down really hurts. We couldn't mana screw them. Wow, that's a good top. Go. Can gain control of the construct. I mean, that's not really that good because it's just a 1 1 on my side. Okay, floats. Good, good, good. Maybe get the Sabas. Get Sabas. Stirrings. Man, I really want to find explosives. Blister. I mean, card spelling that doesn't do much, because they eat it with called one, and that's... Man, that stupid called one. Just steal this a boss, that's the worst idea possible. Mm, two or two. Uh, if I steal the boss, they just sack it. Two lands. Hmm. Okay. I should probably push it. But I don't want him to resolve anything else. I mean, I still have the annual. 
I think I want to push it. Interesting. Okay. Oh, interesting move. Time you're safekeeping. Oh, fuck me. Uh, it's looking bad. <laughs> it's looking really bad. I mean, I guess I steal it. I mean, I probably should let him untap. No. He can just shoot itself if I steal it. <sighs> yeah, that's police ability. He can, like, shoot one to itself and one to me. This card is just so good. I don't know what my outs are. It's just awful. Yeah. Hmm. I can't do much. Edict. Okay. <sighs> I mean... Yeah, why am, why are my explosives? Like, Saga is the real problem. Why don't we play any spreading seas? I mean, I could have killed it with my Break the Ice. Actually, I didn't draw Break the Ice this game. That was the last game. No, it was this game. I could have waited with my Break the Ice. That's what I could have done. But Saga seems like a real problem for this deck. Also the cold one. I don't know. Oh my god. Ravager. Yeah, GG. Yeah, dress down or spreading seas. Something like that. Okay. It made it in a pretty weird way. But it works. Because that's a walking ballista. Ah, it shoots me in fact as well. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, the 3-2s continue. God damn it. Maybe a, bit, a little bit too heavy on the counter magic. And we might... Could bring in some dress downs. I also did, never threw my stone to Erich. Stone of Erich is very good in this matchup. Because the Ravager doesn't work. The hanger back doesn't work. I was really hoping to draw the stone of Erich. I didn't miss the ring. 